Haha! <laughs> they are done. Done. They're freaking done. Oh my god, dude. One fail, two fails, three fails, four fails, five fails, six fails. But not these, baby. Not today. Looks like shit. All right, time for the next project. The Power Ranger mask. We're gonna do this project in five steps. Step one, 3D print. Step two, assemble it. Step three, sand it. Step four, prime it. Step five, paint it. Step one, print. You thought all the, the, stop. You thought I was gonna use all those prints that you just saw, didn't you? Nope, I'm stupid. Printed all of them at different scales, don't ask me how, or they just messed up. So, none of those work, except for one of them, which is cool. So now, I gotta print them again, and I'm not gonna show it to you. Step two, assemble. All right, so I got one piece together, I'm gonna get a close up on the next clip to show how I do it, but basically I use tape, super glue, and a soldering iron. What I do is I get one dot of glue in the middle, one on each side, and then I tape it down to hold it shut. And then once the glue is sealed, I use a soldering iron to weld the plastic on the inside along the seam, everywhere that the glue is not, so that I don't inhale a bunch of yucky, yucky fumes. Tell you what, it's a good thing that uh, cancer is a myth just like global warming, otherwise breathing in all these uh, burnt plastic fumes could be really dangerous, you know? All right, a lot of fumes later, we have the mask put together. You can see all these lines on it super bad, so that's gonna be the super fun part coming up. But, hey, put together, we're making progress. Step three, sand. All right, sanding process. Two swipes over with the 120 grit, go over it again with the 300 grit, hit it with some filler, go back over it with some 400 grit, prime it, paint it, bam. So I sanded it for about probably 30, 40 minutes with the 120 grit and then went up to a 240 grit and probably only did about 10, 15 more minutes of sanding. But I think it is good enough now to go ahead and mix up my filler and get that on. All right, so I've seen a couple different ways to do this um, with the, or different ways to fill it using Bondo, whatever different things. But the way that I'm gonna be doing it is I'm gonna use some DAP plastic wood filler and then I'm gonna mix it up with a little bit of acetone to make it thinner. Yeah, just nail polish, but it is 100% pure acetone, so it should work just fine. It's late, but I just finished adding the, or sanding down the filler. This is what we are looking like at the moment. Gonna sand those spots down, uh, take it outside even though it's late, and prime it. Step four, prime.
take it outside and put the first layer of paint on it. Step five, paint. All right, we finished the mask. This is what it is looking like as a finished product. All right, so I definitely want to revisit masks in the future. Uh, this project definitely didn't turn out exactly how I had envisioned in my head. I will take it for my first mask. I definitely learned a lot and can use all that knowledge in the future. Now, moving on to the next project is gonna be the robot. This is the one I'm most excited for and I have a feeling this is the direction I'm gonna take this channel. So, <laughs> So please stop. So please subscribe, leave a comment, like anything. Bye.